Welcome back to the Buck Stops here. Manu Sharma, whom India knows as the killer of Jessica Lal, was out on parole. Not only that, he was found partying at a nightclub. With outrage across the country, Manu Sharma now says he's heading back to jail in a letter that he's written to his parents. Anusuya Roy has the story. I'm sorry I've put you through this ordeal. May I assure you I have done no wrong. Maybe it is my fate. I love you very much and I know you will not let me do what I'm about to do. I will be gone by the time you get this letter. The media has formed a very biased opinion about me without any facts. They are very powerful and they will not let me live. If I'm around you, they will make your life hell as well. I'm going to surrender to the jail and I don't know when I will see you again. But I love you very much and I can't see you go through all this. With this letter, Manu Sharma ended his parole party and voluntarily went back to jail 12 days before his parole was to end on the 22nd of November. But his loving note to his parents is unlikely to garner any sympathy for the man in jail for the murder of Jessica Lal. On the grounds on which he got parole, A, you need to check them out. Who is who's investigating that his mother is actually unwell before you let a criminal out of jail? Under the scanner, Congress's chief minister of Delhi who signed Manu's parole papers. Manu's father is a powerful Congress politician from Haryana, an MLA and close friend of Haryana Chief Minister Bhupinder Singh Hooda. After the recent assembly elections, when the Congress failed to get a majority, Vinod Sharma played a crucial role in getting seven independents to the party's fold. And the Congress insists nothing illegal was done. I think uh, whatever was done by the Delhi government was as per the rules. And the uh, Chief Minister and uh, LG's office has clarified whatever has happened. I don't know what penal law is. You must be a lawyer, you must be, I have no idea. Manu's lawyer, however, may find it hard to get him out of parole anytime soon. Apart from the public outcry, the reasons given by Sharma to get out of jail are not entirely true. Sharma got out in September, but look at these pictures showing his mother, Shakti Rani Sharma, campaigning for the Haryana elections last month. He had said he wanted to be with his aging mother. He's just out without any remorse and having a good time, which should not be the case, you know, and going to public places where he, where he has done something really heinous, you know, before. He should not be allowed to do that. Um, it also kind of shows that there is certain loopholes within the system. Manu Sharma may be back in jail, but this entire episode has brought into focus just how law can be misused to benefit an accused. Perhaps it's time for greater scrutiny before benefits like parole and bail are extended to them. In New Delhi, with Bureau Inputs, Anasya Roy for NDTV. So Manu Sharma is heading back to jail, but serious questions remain about why he was let out to begin with. Let's go straight across to Mumbai, where we're joined by actor and club owner Arjun Rampal. Arjun, of course, uh, yours, uh, your club was the place which Manu Sharma made a brief visit to. When you got to know that he was there, what went through your head? Were you surprised? Did you think he was inside prison? What went through your head? Well, I mean, first I was confused when they just told me the name. Uh, it happened around about 2.30. Uh, the cops came. And uh, they were very decent, I must say. They went to, straight to the head of security. They went up to him and they said, um, you know, we have reason to believe that this guy, Manu Sharma, has come in here because he's just had a fight at F bar. Uh, when they came and they spoke to me, the cops, and they talked about Manu Sharma, it didn't even strike me that it was the same Manu Sharma. And when they told me, I mean, I was just in complete shock um, because Jessica has been a friend of mine. I've known her. And to have her murderer on my premises when we are so, so strict about uh, who we get in and what kind of people we get into our property was um, absolutely appalling. And uh, so, of course, we were in complete shock. The first, my first reaction was put the lights on, put the music off, and get that guy off my space immediately. Uh, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, but unfortunately, he was not there, and he was not on the premises. And um, then we decided to... Um, give the cops all our CCTV footage, um, which uh, I think helped them. On Sunday, I got to know that, yes, they found him coming in with this guy called Sahil Dingra and uh, leaving um, within 10 minutes of him coming in. So uh, that kind of, um, I think, just gave them a stronger case to say, yes, the guy was in Delhi, he was pub hopping, and that's the only image, really, what they have of uh, Manu Sharma. Tuba.com.